In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Elementor's image and icon box widgets. So you're going to find these not under the basic settings, obviously not under Pro, but just here under General. So you've got the image box and the icon box. So the first thing we need to do is actually create a section to put these in. Now, you can create something a little bit like this uh, manually. I did that in a previous tutorial. So this is very simply an image, a separate heading, separate text, and a separate button. But it's nice that you can just do this with Elementor really easily. So what we'll do, create two sections, come back over to our widgets toolbar, grab the image box, drag and drop. And the only slight difference is obviously this is going to be smaller. And then let's put the icon box on the other side so we can look at it all at the same time. So grab the icon box, drag it on in. So this is what you're going to be faced with. We've got a uh, image on the left hand side and an icon on the right. So if we come back over here to our image one, Click on in, you can then choose an image. If you've got one in your media library already, pick it, otherwise upload a file by selecting from your computer. I'm just gonna go straight ahead and use this one for now. And then the next thing it asks us is image size. Well, when it's this small, we don't need to have the full resolution size of the image. All that's gonna be doing is wasting space on your web page. so we can drop this down probably to medium. And we're keeping the same sort of quality there. If you do notice too much of a drop, just go for medium large, that should do the trick. And then directly underneath, we've got where we want to put our heading. So just type what you want in here. And then obviously add some text below it just here. That's what you're gonna have appearing uh, just there underneath. If you're wanting this to link to something, you do have that option. So you can input your link here. As with all the elements, you can type in the whole URL. You can just start typing a page and it's gonna automatically uh, sense it through Elementor and bring it up for you. And no matter what you do, go into link options and choose whether you want it to open in a new tab or uh, a nofollow if it's an external link. When you've done that, you can choose the image position, so left, right, or in the middle, which I generally think looks best. And you can also change the uh, title tag for this. So for example, heading one is obviously gonna make it much larger, but you should only ever have one heading one on a page at a time. So I think heading three is probably best as it had it. And then once we've done that, we can pop on up to style, and here we can start to affect the spacing. So if I change this, it's obviously gonna put more space between the image and the content beneath it. We can also then change the width. So if we're doing this, it's gonna increase uh, the image size for us. Now, if you're doing that, you might need to come back over to content and change this up to medium large, because now we're getting more quality again. So this is effectively relevant, obviously, to the size that you want to have the image at. I'm just gonna put it back to about 60. And then it gives us the option for hover animation. So if we click on this and do, let's do shrink, then when we hover over it, that's gonna happen. So you've got a whole list of uh, options you can do there. Let's do Bob for a moment, and then that's gonna happen. So just have a look through and choose the one that you want. For now, I'm gonna leave it as none. What you might also want to do though is change the opacity. So for example, if we wanted it to stay solid on normal view, we could add an animation, as I just said, if we wanted to, and then we could come over to hover, and then we could change the opacity. So now, when I hover over it, that's gonna happen. So that can be quite nice. And then just down here, you've got content, and now this is referring to the content we see down here. So again, I can move that over to the left, justify it, move it to the right, put it to the middle. Once again, we can increase the spacing, now between the title and the text. We can also change the color if we want to. And naturally, we can also do the typography. So these are the normal typography settings that you have for headings and text. If you're not sure how this part works, please check out my videos on Elementor's title headings and text editor. Those tutorials are gonna show you exactly how all those work. And then lastly, we've got the description. So again, we could come in, change the color down here, and also change the typography as well. Now, the icon section is very, very similar. You can obviously come up here, choose an icon, from Font Awesome. If you've got your own icons, you can upload them as well. You can either look through by scrolling, or if you want, you can come up to the top and choose something. Let's just go with the caravan for now. And once you've done that, again, we've got the view. We could do this as a stacked view, or you can have it framed. And then once you've done that, you've obviously got the shapes. So we can have a circle or a square. And then just before, like we had over on the image, uh, you've also got the title again and some more text down here. Now, if I just copy all this and 
paste it again. So I want to show you how to align these in just a moment. Again, we can add a link if we want to, change the position of the icon, and then up here under style, we can change the spacing like we did before. We can also change the actual size of the icon. So we can bring that up or down. Let's put it around there, I think. Let's make it 45. And depending on what icon you've chosen, you may just have a primary color or you might also have a secondary color. So if I just do that as the primary color, let's change the secondary to gray. And then you see that's obviously infilling that with that gray color. Let's put it back to white. Something else you can do is uh, change the padding. So if we do that, that's increasing the space that we've now got between our icon and the frame that we've put around it. But let's put that back to around 20. And finally, if we want, we can also rotate this image round. So that's a normal caravan. That's a caravan that's been in a serious accident. Let's uh, put it back as it was. We've then got uh, borders as well. So we can then increase that border around it if we want to. You've then also got border radius, but that's only going to affect it if we have a square, because then that's effectively curving it more. But obviously, you would just choose the circle to begin with if that's what you wanted to do. I'm going to put this back to, let's say, about three. That's pretty good. And then once again, we've got the content section, which is going to allow us to alter all of this, just as we did over here. OK, so now I just want to show you how we would make these line up if they weren't. So let's just play devil's advocate for a moment. Come back up here, and I'm going to increase the size of this. I know that doesn't look good, but I'm just going to use it for an example. So let's say we had it like this. And now, if we duplicate this and do the same for this side, and then what I'm just going to do is move this one over to here, drag this one over to here. So as you can see, we've now got this sort of tiled effect where we have one over here, one that's coming down to here, and then it's overlapping with this one. But what if you didn't want that? So if you actually wanted this one to start down here, there's a couple of ways you can do it. The very long-winded way of doing it, which I don't suggest, is by going into either the element above, coming under advanced, going over to padding, unlinking it, and increasing the bottom padding to move this down. Or you could also come into the actual element itself, go into advanced, go over to padding, unlink it, and start increasing it from the top. But I don't suggest that you do that. It's a very long-winded way, and obviously if you have a lot of content on the page, it's, it's not gonna work very well. What you should be doing is actually creating another section doing another two, and then what we could simply do is drag this one up to here, this one up to there, and now this has obviously become the same uh, height. So let's just click off a second. Now we've got this beginning down here at the bottom, so effectively both columns have the same amount of space on them. So if you are struggling to make your uh, sort of widgets line up, don't just stack them one on top of the other in the same column, create a new column, put them in, and that's the way that Elementor likes to lay things out, and you get, and get them all to uh, exactly the same height. Now, if we wanted to put some color behind any of these, uh, there's a couple of ways we could do it. If we come under the overall section, and then go over to Style, and then go to Background, we can choose either a single color background here, so let's choose green, and that's gonna do the whole thing. We could also choose a gradient if we wanted to, Obviously, change the location, move around the angle, style it up as you want it to be. And then, if you didn't want that and you just wanted to have the color behind a single uh, widget, turn this off, come over to the widget in question, click on the little pencil icon, come down under Advanced, go to Background. Once again, choose your background type, either a single color or a gradient. Let's just go with a single one for now. Choose that, that's going to put the color behind it for you. And then if you didn't want to do that, if instead you wanted to uh, have these all in a single column, then if once again we had our widgets in the same column, then you can come under the column settings, go over to uh, style, and then again you've got normal, uh, or hover, if you wanted to have a different one on hover. Choose a classic single color, choose a gradient, whatever you want, put that in, and that's gonna do the whole column. So that's how you can have a different background color behind either the section, the column, or the individual widget if you want to. And that's uh, pretty much it for both the images and these.
icons, just uh, have a play around with them until you get them to where you want them to be. And if you do for any reason have more text on one than another, just remember to add it to a section that's separate from the original one, and that way you're going to be able to equal them up nicely. And you should end up with something that looks quite good. Hopefully that's helped you. If it has, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to check out the other tutorial videos I have on Elementor. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.